Welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today, we're going to do five experiments using the heat of the sun. I have sunglasses on so I can look cool and protect my eyes. Did you know the light from the sun traveled 93 million miles to get here? And that took 8 minutes and 20 seconds. And that's a long time considering how fast light moves. The sun's light traveled 93 million miles to get here, only to be interrupted by my friend El Lenz for our science experiments today. 93 million miles? That's amazing! Fresnel lenses can concentrate light and turn it into heat. Make sure to have adult supervision whenever doing any of these experiments, because you don't want to get burned. Did you know when you look at the sun, you're actually looking 8 minutes and 20 seconds into the past? That's because the light from the sun takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel to you. And when we look at objects even further away than the sun, we're looking even further into the past. So like, if we looked at a really distant galaxy, we could be maybe even looking years into the past. That's how space and time are connected. Wow, that's amazing. I just taught you how to look into the past without a time machine. Cool, right? This here is called a Peltier module. It can turn heat into electricity. So, we're going to use the heat from the sun and turn it into electricity. We made a simple circuit using the Peltier device and the motor. We're using the Fresnel lens to focus the sunlight on the Peltier device. Do you see how it's spinning? The temperature difference between the two sides of the Peltier device excites the electrons and causes them to move through the circuit. The heat provides just the right amount of energy to excite the electrons. Look at it go! Incredible! I can't believe that worked! This black device is called a heat sink. It has a large surface area. This keeps one side cool by allowing the heat to escape. This should make our experiment work even better by having a larger temperature difference. For this experiment, we're going to be using this parabolic reflector to cook this cranberry. Parabolic reflectors focus light into one point, making the heat very intense. After only 30 seconds, look closely at the bright spot on the bottom. There's smoke. It even looks like it's on fire. And after one minute, look how crazy the smoke goes. Whoa! This is called a Crookes radiometer. It has four veins, each with a white side and a black side. When I put the Crookes radiometer in the sun, it starts to spin. But what's making it spin? The answer is, it's converting the sun's energy into motion. Cool, right? The black side of each blade absorbs more of the sun's light and turns it into heat, while the white side reflects the sunlight and remains cooler. These are air particles around the blades. When the radiometer is in the sun, the particles on the black side get hot. They start to move excitedly, knocking into the blades. The particles on the cool side try and move to the warm side to even out the temperature. This makes the blades start to spin because there's higher pressure on the warm side than there is on the cool side, therefore making it spin. Whoa, that's amazing! This is a Stirling engine. A Stirling engine runs on heat and it turns this heat into motion. We turned it upside down so it could catch the heat of the sun. In a previous video, we used hot water to run our Stirling engine. In this video, we're going to be using heat from the sun to power our engine. We're using the frontal lens to focus the sun's heat on the Stirling motor to power it. If you touch it, it'll be really hot, and it'll burn you. So make sure to be careful around these. Don't try this at home. I'm going to touch it to show you how hot it is. OK, 
Okay, I didn't actually touch it, but it would have been like that if I did. Isn't that cool? The light of the sun is turning into heat, which is turning into kinetic energy. That's awesome. So how does a Stirling engine work? When the displacer is at the top, it allows the gas to get hot and expand. Then the gas moves up and pushes the piston. When the displacer is at the bottom, it prevents the heat from coming in and the gas cools and contracts and allows the piston to move down. When the piston moves up and down, it turns the flywheel. I have an egg right here. We're going to be cooking it using the heat from the sun. Okay. Okay. Open it. Again, we're using our Fresnel lens to focus the sun's energy onto this raw egg. Let's see what happens. Wow, can you believe that? Some of the egg white has actually begun to cook. Wow! Do you see how we cooked a piece of egg? With more time, or a bigger lens, you could cook this entire egg pretty easily. Thank you for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun!